Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand order of growth of an algorithm, the, comp uh, the concepts of time complexity, asymptotic notations has already been discussed in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here because the understanding of those concepts is very much important for you to understand what we are going to discuss in this class. And every video on our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now what is order of growth of an algorithm to understand this concept let's consider these two uh, time complexities of algorithms for example so what we will do is uh, uh, let's try to consider the time complexity of these two algorithms algorithm 1 and algorithm 2 now as the input size increases so for this time complexity is if the input size increases how the behavior of the algorithm that we will try to understand from that we will try to derive the concept of order of growth of an algorithm so here here for example if you have the input size as 10 10 input size is there means then the running time of the algorithm a for example if you consider this as a and this as b not 1 and 2 if you consider this as a and b the algorithm run time of an algorithm is 1001 so these many number of steps are getting executed and uh, the running time of the algorithm b is uh, 101 111 so which uh, this is having the highest uh, number of steps running and if you consider the uh, uh, efficiency as 100 sorry the input as 100 so here it is 10001 and here it is 10101 so uh, they are very much near the time complexity of these uh, uh, the number of steps that are executed by these two algorithms for the input size of 100 both of them are taking both of them are getting executed bo both of them are executing the same number of steps for example if you consider the uh, running time the input size is 1000 the run time of algorithm is this one and this one for this one it is uh, this one see here there is a drastic change in the efficiency drastic change in the number of steps that are executed by algorithm b so from here where the runtime of the algorithm is very less when compared with the runtime of algorithm a as the input size is very small so in that case here the run times or these are the run times and as the input size increases the algorithm the run time for algorithm b is increasing try to get that point for example if you take 10000 this is the run time of algorithm a and the, uh, the run time of algorithm is very 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 high it is 10 power 10 number of steps are getting executed Try to get that point so as the input size increases so the order of growth the order of so uh, the the rate at which the uh, the number of steps that are getting executed is increasing try to get that point so now now what happens here is here what is the what is the uh, term what is the term which is influencing this this rate of growth of this algorithm efficiency the term which is influencing here is this one so n square is the higher order term which which makes the maximum influence on the rate at which the number of steps are getting executed try to get that point for example if you take this one here the significance of 100 into n is more when the input is uh, input size is very low see here why we got 1001 it is because of this 100 but the significance of the terms which are the coefficients of the higher order term is getting negligible as the input size increases try to get that point it is getting negligible as the input size is increasing okay similarly if you take these terms the lower order terms this is what we call it as higher order term uh, uh, with the higher coefficient uh, higher power so that is the term which we call it as higher order term so in this entire expression the higher order term is n square whereas uh, this these are the lower order terms the uh, the significance of this lower order terms is also getting decreased as the input size is increasing so the 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 
term which is having the maximum influence on the rate of growth so the number of steps that are executed by the algorithm is decided so it is having the highest significance which one is having the highest significance it is the higher order term so for this algorithm the higher order term is n square and for this algorithm the higher order term is n square so these are the values which is creating the maximum influence on the uh, the way in which the number of steps are getting executed so from now on for the time complexities we are going to consider only the higher order terms okay so now what is meant by order of growth an order of growth is the set of functions whose asymptotic growth behavior is considered equivalent so for example so this is what we call it as order of growth the order at which the algorithm efficiency the, the algorithm uh, the execution of the number of steps are growing by an algorithm so that is what we call it as order of growth so if the set of functions for example if you consider n 2n uh, uh, similarly if you have uh, 100n 100n and uh, n plus 1 so if these are all the time complexities the order of growth the order of growth of all these time complexities is equivalent equivalent see the add an order of growth is the set of functions whose asymptotic growth whose asymptotic growth behavior is considered equivalent so what is the order of growth of this of all these entire algorithms the order at which the growth the algorithm grows the the number of steps that are getting executed grows is n so try to get that point so this is what we call it as order of growth the order of growth is this one okay because we are not considering the uh, the coefficients of the higher order term uh, this one will not get considered and the lower order terms are also not considered okay so from now on the the uh, while calculating the time complexity the point that we have to consider is the higher order terms all the lower order terms and the coefficients of the higher order terms will be negligible will be considered as neglig negligible because the significance of those terms in the the uh, at the rate of the rate at which the number of steps are getting executed is very less when compared with the higher order term okay so that is what we call it as the order of growth of an algorithm hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching